Hello Capricorn. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. Each month I'm going to be doing a tarot scope reading for you and all of the other 11 zodiac signs. I'm going to change up the tarot scope, how I do it for my YouTube channel, so I can put out a monthly video for each zodiac sign so we can dive into the tarot card that I pull for each sign and then pull tarot cards from an additional deck on what the full overview will be for each month. So this is the tarot scope for January 2024 for Capricorn Sun Moon or Rising. So I want you to sit back, relax, close your eyes if you feel guided to, allow the messages to come forth as they're supposed to, as they're intended, taking only what speaks directly to your soul and releasing what doesn't. So first I want to tap into what the tarot card Spirit has for you for the month of January 2024 and if you're watching this after January 2024 this can still apply because I'm setting the intention <clears throat> for this to be timeless. So what is the tarot card for Capricorn Sun Moon or Rising please for January 2024. Okay so your card is the Ten of Swords. So angel number 10 is about new cycle starting. Swords is air energy and air energy is always balance and communication. I always see this card as heavy burdens being lifted because with them being lifted it's because the Ten of Swords represents a new cycle. So in the Gilded Tarot, this card means a difficult situation is near the end. A hard time is over. So if you're going through a conflict, whether it be with a person, or a situation such as a job, or maybe you're just having conflict with yourself trying to get a better idea of what it is that you want to bring in for the new year, the Ten of Swords is telling you it's possible. So there's a lot of blue on this card and my throat was starting to act up when I started getting ready to pull this card. So throat chakra is the chakra that you should be focusing on for the month of January. Doing throat chakra guided meditations or just listening to throat chakra meditation music can really help you. Um, one channel I listen to on YouTube, it's called Meditative Mind. They have uh, chakra music that you can listen to that's instrumental. And then they also have the guided meditation. I do recommend the guided meditation on that channel because he has you go through um, an OM chat and it really helps opening your throat chakra. <clears throat> so working on your throat chakra is going to help you see that this difficult situation, it could be a relationship, whatever it is, it's near the end and this hard time is almost over. So it's almost like you're in the dark, but you have to see light at the end of the tunnel. So knowing that the birds on the card symbolize freedom, it's time for you to spread your wings. It's time for you to be that little baby bird who is learning how to fly for the first time to stand on the edge of the nest, the windowsill. Flap your wings and know you may fall initially, but you have the strength to pick yourself up and fly high and fly free. The deer on the card represents the divine masculine, and that's the divine masculine within you. Every person, regardless of gender, has a divine masculine and a divine feminine side. Your divine masculine side is mostly on your right side. Your divine feminine side is on your left side. So whatever this situation is, is pertaining more to your divine masculine side. Maybe you just need your divine feminine, your inner divine feminine to just soothe your inner divine masculine, to just make him feel at peace and to help him speak his truth 
and to help him just speak it into existence. So with the Ten of Swords telling you that a difficult situation is near completion and that a difficult time is almost over, let's get into what January 2024 has for you with this situation coming to an end, things being completed, and you getting ready to embark on a new beginning with angel number 10. So what message do you have about this spirit? Okay, we have number 10, which is the Enchanter's Wheel. So the 10 card in the Major Arcana in traditional tarot is the Wheel of Fortune. So number 10, you have the 10 of Swords, the number 10. This is telling you your new beginning is going to start this month. I'm seeing this Enchanter's Wheel. It's very, to me, it's looking very much like a spider web. So I didn't activate the new me soul activation on New Year's Eve and spirit animal spider did come through. And I made a post about spiders on my Instagram. So if you want to go to my Instagram, my handle is at Butterfly Intuition. The link to my Instagram is in the description box below. You can check out that post and just see what Spirit Animal Spider, just what the meaning of the card that I pulled is telling you. Because spiders are a sign of good luck. So there is a bird on this card and the birds, again, are telling you, fly high, fly free, it's your time, it's, it's your space. So when you're able to move forward, and you're able to choose to move forward because I feel that's the key. You have to choose to move forward. You're going to get into the energy of the forge. You're going to forge ahead, forge movement, and you're going to be able to dig your way out of it. So if you have dug yourself into a hole, you're going to dig yourself out of it. The fire on this card symbolizes fire signs. Um, so you could have fire placement somewhere dominant in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or the fire is just representation of having the confidence to be that leader, to follow your passion and to dig yourself out because there's only one way to go now. And that way is up and having a clear vision with the 10 of vision. So you have another number 10. You've had three tens come out so far in your reading. So the unicorns on this card symbolize magic, manifestation. Unicorns have a horn in the middle of their forehead that symbolizes the third eye chakra, letting your intuition guide you, letting your intuition tell you what you need to know, what you need to see. And overall, this month is going to bring you the Ace of Spells. Being able to completely slay your dragon Aces are about you embarking on this new solo journey confidently, being able to overcome any obstacles that come your way. The word spell is just telling you, you just having those magical words that are going to manifest something for you. Because going forward into the new year, January is setting the tone for the forest lord so this is a major arcana card number four in traditional tarot is the emperor and the emperor i always see as the divine masculine so this is your inner divine masculine allowing your inner divine feminine to help him and your inner divine masculine is going to help morph with your inner divine feminine so you can find the way to tranquility equality and being able to open the path. So overall, with this difficult situation coming to an end, a hard time that has been difficult coming to an end, completion, this is all leading up to a new beginning. So we have a new moon in Capricorn happening on January 11th, 2024. This new moon is in the sign of Capricorn. This is your sign. Whether it's sun, moon, or rising, it doesn't matter. Set some intentions that are going to help you move forward on your path, forge ahead, 
and to stay in the energy of new. Weaving your web, creating that life for yourself, and just being in a blissful state going forward. So I do hope your reading for this month, Capricorn, has brought you clarity and guidance. If this resonated for you, if it brought you clarity and guidance and it helped you in some way, drop a comment below to let me know. I always love hearing from everyone who watches my videos on the feedback. And if you have any questions or you have any ideas on what you would like to see with the tarot scope for you, Capricorn, let me know. Drop a comment below. You can also email me if you like. My email is butterflyintuition1111 at gmail.com. If you are interested in booking with me, my booking website is butterflyintuition.com. You can get the link to my website. You can see my full list of services, as well as the two mini readings that I sell on my Wizio site. That link is also below. Have a magical month of January. Happy 2024. Love and light to you.